and welcome to what is probably the first snooze review ever recorded in Bahrain here at Stifa Philip exclusive. So I'm sitting in the Domain Bahrain which is a five-star hotel. I don't live here unfortunately but uh, they have a really nice bar here with a nice view as you can see of Bahrain. Bahrain is tiny and this is uh, Manama. Unfortunately they don't have the Muppet song Manama Na, it's their national anthem should have really, I think, uh, be quite catchy. So I'm sorry about the the lighting here because uh, you won't probably see much of the news I'm showing you, but I'll try to show you some pictures and also some panning of the area here. So I'm here visiting my girlfriend. Uh, she's not Bahraini, but she's working here. And uh, this uh, review is coming with a sponsor from uh, snooze24.com. Unfortunately, they did not sponsor the uh, trip here. Maybe I should have asked, but uh, <laughs> they are sponsoring my reviews as always. So this is the mint theme week. Uh, I'm going to review two today and two mint snoozers uh, on Saturday as well. Those will be thunder frosted uh, portion and loose. But today we are looking at Siberia minus 80 degrees centigrade portion white. Hope you can see that. And Skruf Slim Fresh Extra Stark White. Two mint snoozers today. So Skruf is made by Skruf and Siberia made by Gian Tobacco. It's the first mint snooze I've tried from them. And they also have a red Siberia which is supposed to be the strongest snooze in the world. But this is no lightweight either really. So I'll, I'll try to get the statistics for you here. I don't have a computer handy here so I'll get that out of the way shall I? Right, Siberia has 18 portions. The portions are Pretty decent size, they're 0.85 gram portions, and that makes the um, nicotine come above 20 milligrams. I think it's 20.2 milligrams per portion. That should be the strongest snooze I've ever reviewed for, for you guys. It's 24 milligrams per gram on that one. The Scoof one uh, has got smaller portions, it's 0.7 gram portions. It does have 24 portions in this can though. And the nicotine uh, will then be about, I think, 11.2 milligrams per portion because it's 16 milligrams per gram. So the Siberia is almost twice the strength per portion, actually. Right. Okay, you probably won't see much of this either. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the, uh, the catch lid is relatively big on the, on the Siberia. It doesn't go all the way out. Catch lid on Skruf. It's a big one, reminding me of uh, Swedish match products, really. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'll probably give you a picture of this so you can see it better. The um, the portions of the Siberia are well, they are white portions, but um, they're not dry portions like the red Siberia. Actually, it has a little bit of moisture to it. They come a little bit uneven. Have to fluff it up a little bit. You can put it. The smell of Siberia. It's straight up um, spearmint, strong spearmint actually. You would expect that with the um, with the strength of the nicotine really. And the Skruf one, neater looking slim portions and a milder smell, more creamy maybe. I would say it's more yeah, it's still spearmint, but it's a sort of a creamier, more mellow mint uh, scent to that one. Really slim portions, long slim. Okay, that's a boatload of nicotine in my under my lip right now. Okay, so it's a little bit hard to find locations to actually shoot the videos here. I'm sitting in a bar, so you know, slightly nervous about that. Uh, luckily, it's not a full bar yet, but uh, might be soon. Enjoying. A mojito here, so I'll take it easy. I'll shoot some videos, pan around, take pictures of the snooze, um, and I'll get back to you when I've finished the cans. And uh, we'll see what we do with the thunder for later this week. So I hope you enjoyed the view, guys, and I will see you soon. Hi again, guys. I have found a location for the second part of these reviews, and it is Coral Bay in Manama, where I broke my foot in April last year. Mm -hmm. Great memories of this place, so um, I'll try to uh, shoot 
some footage or just a little picture for you later to see exactly where I broke my foot. Uh, still midwinter here, 18 degrees today, really cold uh, with Manama Bahrain standards really. Still having a beer, why not? And it's mint week here at Stiff Upper Lip, as I said. Got the last Siberia, the last Skruv. And you know what, when I first started uh, snoozing a few years ago, uh, you realize that there are things out there like mint snooze. And for most sweets, that is wrong. It's not really something we, you know, want to do. It's, it doesn't have the complexity, let's face it, of a tobacco-centric snooze. So it's not, it's not that exciting. So I'm kind of starting to think that if I want something that I enjoy, it's normally not a mint snooze. The mint snooze is occasional, and therefore, it needs to have something extra to it. And both of these have the added nicotine. So you, I said when I reviewed the uh, Thunder Ultra Strong uh, that it had that extra nicotine, so it's a good morning snooze. So you, it gets you going in the morning. And I think the same thing applies for, for these ones, really. So first of all, I would like to say about the screw. It has a nicer form factor, feels better in, in the lip, possibly a little bit better taste, but it's, you know, it's pretty boring to be perfectly honest with you. And it doesn't provide that real extra kick either. So it's a standard minty snooze really. Great if you haven't uh, brushed your teeth in the morning. That's the best application of these in a way. Now the Siberia, it does come up really clumsy. It's probably the clumsiest one I've reviewed so far because it has really, it's really hard tobacco in here. You really have to work it like this which is a little bit annoying, but you can always do that. It's almost like a, one of those wedge-shaped ones in the star formation from Swedish Match, um, without having the star formation or wedge shape. So, what I would say about the screw, it doesn't do it much for me. Uh, it's one of many mint snoozes, average. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 for that one. But the Siberia, it has something actually and that is the nicotine um, I've tried a couple of GM tobacco snoozes before that have been strong at least one of them didn't like it at all uh, and you get that problem with um, high nicotine snooze that is tobacco centric the, the high soda actually kills the tobacco taste it doesn't matter that much in this snooze because it's full on mint and I'm glad to say that it doesn't have any off flavors for the mint um, so you know it's both of these are just tasting of pure spearmint. A bit sweet, a bit boring. They are mint snoozes, but the Siberia has got something. And I said that the, the Thunder Ultra Strong was my new go-to morning snooze. Um, this might well take that place. Uh, it has something that the other ones might not have. So I'm gonna go six out of 10 for the Siberia. Um, blue one. The red one will come in a later review, see if that blows me away even more. This one, when it comes to the nicotine, depending on your uh, acceptance to nicotine really, when I first started uh, using snooze, a normal strength snooze will knock me out. Now that doesn't touch me. Uh, here, depending on your tolerance level, either it's going to give you a nice buzz or it's going to knock you out and make you feel sick. So it's up to you how, how you actually um, feel about the nicotine strength. If you want a strong snooze and you, you like a mint snooze, definitely try the Siberia. I would recommend that of the two. At least it has something going for it that the Skruv doesn't, in my view. So why not? Uh, we Swedes are not overly keen on mint snooze. I know that strong mint snooze is big in America and I know there's a big buzz around the uh, Siberia. And why not? Uh, it's the highest rated GM tobacco snooze I've done so far. So 6 out of 10 for the Siberia, 5 out of 10 for the Skruv. And um, now we'll go over to Thunder Extra Strong, both frosted, uh, both frosted. one is loose and one is portion. That will be my next review. I think I'll start that review in this location as well. So see you then. Thanks guys.